Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. And yeah, I have a bit of a confession to make. So this boss was causing me duress. Oh boy. This guy was giving me a lot of trouble. I got him down the best I did, they got him down to about uh I don't know. A third of his health maybe? A bit less. Um but but then that was just once and other times he was just destroying me. I think with hindsight that I just needed to level up a couple of stats a bit. I'm level 90 at this point but my build is not all that balanced. Uh, I really should be going like 40-40 quality build for this weapon. But anyway, so um, I did fight the boss as a summon and we took him out fairly easily actually. And so although I've I really wanted to do every boss in this game solo and I've been able to do that except for this one guy anyway so I, I did I called one summon in I thought just one I don't want to go overboard I certainly don't want to have like four guys fighting the boss that's just not fun but anyway I found out that uh, this guy like it's the nameless king anyway it's the it's an interesting boss, it's got two phases, you kill the dragon, or wyvern, or whatever first, and uh, and then you have to kill the guy on the top. But I did discover something interesting, which is that this guy is destroyed by magic. I mean, this was ridiculous. I mean, we just barely started the fight. The guy hit him with like three spells and I did a riposte on him and, and, and the dragon's already dead. At this point I was starting to regret a little bit and thinking, oh no, I've gone in with somebody who's overpowered. Yes. Anyway, this guy probably looks a bit familiar to you, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks a lot like somebody from Dark Souls 1. Well... There's a reason why he's a nameless king. But I'm not going to spoil the lore for you. You can read around this and find that out for yourself. So. Anyway, the second phase is just the guy. and This is much more difficult than the dragon. The dragon's actually fairly easy. I was taking it out, losing only like maybe one or two Estus flasks. This guy... This guy doesn't give you a chance to use your Estus Flask, which is the problem. So, uh, he's got some range, sort of, uh, effect, wind effect type things. The lightning is his big danger. Uh, you can, you can dodge. I'm obviously using, like, anti-lightning gear. Again, you see, uh, old caster here. He's hitting him with crystal... Soul Spear, I guess. And now I don't know how well he'd do. I thought he was dead there actually. I don't know how well he would do by himself. But um Old Nameless isn't really paying much attention to me. In the meantime, like while he's focusing on me a bit magic guy just goes to town on him. Don't know how that missed. Yeah, this buffs his weapon. This is where he's super dangerous. I put on some better armor for this fight as well. But you see, um, he's just getting chipped away and chipped away. Having the two of you here also, it means like now I've got loads of time to heal up. It makes such a difference. That's that's basically that's it. If you don't have time to heal, this guy kills you. I think he's probably the most difficult boss in the game. Uh, although I'd like to fight him again with a slightly better optimized character. I I think I can get him. Okay, you see, he's nearly dead. I've still got like ten Estus flasks. And I wanted to be the one to put the killing blow in, but nope. Magic guy just wrecked him. Just wrecked him. Anyway. 
So I was a bit disappointed with that, to be honest. Yeah, it's a cool fight and everything. I think a lot of people will really like fighting this boss. And he's got some excellent lore, obviously, as you drift down into the fog. Uh, the area, whole area is in the dragon area. It's, it's cool too. But I shouldn't have fought him co-op. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, I'll probably come through again on another character if I uh, if I get to kill the guy solo. I'll I'll put it up as a solo video. In the meantime, thanks to my summon. Uh, and uh, yeah, well the weather's nicer now as you can see. <laughs> thanks for watching.